Hi, I'm Hirokazu Sui, creator of Chain of Alaska. Chain of Alaska is a new storage of management web application which supports distributed planning. This is Chain of Alaska part 1 video to show why we need this application and how it works. There are many groupware and project management systems in the market, so you may feel strange why we need another one. I've developed this application because, for groupware, they have many useful functions like email, to-do, schedule, but they have no core concept and mechanism to plan and prepare our daily job. Compared to groupware, project management systems have clear planning and follow-up procedures, but their centralized planning and control style does not match current more cooperative working style. When I look at our working style, I think we are working through chain asking process. Here, chain asking means, when we try to do something which we cannot handle alone, we must divide the job into the portion to handle by ourselves and the portion to ask someone, and the same thing will happen in the next person, and finally, original big request is broken down to these small tasks and executed. We can adapt this process for job planning and follow-up. I will show by example. Let's imagine a situation that John is a salesman of catering service company, and he got 100 lunch delivery order. To conduct this job, he issued top request to himself with due date, then he created his menu consultation task with duration, and issued cooking request to Chefman, and set time relation from consultation task to cooking request. Chefman accept this request, and create his cooking task with duration, and issued food staff shopping request to shopper Jen, and set time relation from shopping request to cooking task. Finally, shopper Jen create her shopping task. By this way, we can create a job structure and can calculate schedule by using final due date, each task duration, and time relations. And we can follow up job progress along with created task sequence. Ok, idea explanation is finished. Let's move on real chain of Alaska screen to see how this idea is working. Chain of Alaska is Microsoft Silverlite web application, so to open Chain of Alaska, please visit chainofalaska.com and click the link to Chain of Alaska program. Then, program is downloaded from server and start running in your browser. At first, let's go to project screen. When you access Chain of Alaska at first time, it's start up by tutorial mode. Tutorial mode is a special mode for learning, and in this mode, we can perform different user roles to learn how this system works. We can change user role by this selection box, and the current user role is displayed here. Also in tutorial mode, system provides built-in 100 launch project as an example. We can get the exact same project structure from here, like this is top request issued from sales job to sales job, and the child is menu consultation task and cooking request to chef mark and this child is Chef Max cooking task and his shopping request to Shopper Jen and this is final Shopper Jen's shopping task and the schedule is calculated and displayed like this way. Once for plan is developed, we cannot see so much difference from current project management system. So from now on, I will show how this project is developed through chain asking process. At the beginning, we must act sales John's role to create top request. Now, user role is sales John, so to create top request, please select me related project and select create new child request task. Then we have a detail request screen, here we will input title, what we ask, status, and due date, and for helper, because of this is a project top request, system force user to issue request to himself to create a base request, where a project initiator can add child request or task. And to set due date, you can select due date from pop-up calendars. This is a project screen after sales John created his top request. Currently, this top request has no valid child task, so temporary one-day schedule bar is displayed. Ok, next we create menu consultation task. To create child task, please click of its parent request and select create new child request or task. Then we have a same detail request and task screen, but default screen is formatted to create a new child request, so please select task at beginning. Then format is changed to create a new task, difference is this task duration input box. When you put all data, please save it. This is a project screen after sales John set menu consultation task. Now project duration is changed 3 days by the effect of newly added child task. 
OK, let's move on to create cooking request. Again, this is the same detail request and task screen, but because of this is not a topicus, this request creation screen has helper designation button. To input helper, please click add helper button and select helper. This is the screen after sales John issued cooking request. This request is still one day temporary schedule because of no valid child task. Here, we set time relation from consolidation task to cooking request. Now, sales John created top request, menu consultation task, cooking request to chef map, and set time relation. So, his planning job is finished. Here, we must declare completion of planning of this top request by changing its status to planned. Distributed planning system cannot recognize when planning is completed without this kind of finish flag. OK, sales John's operation is finished. So, let's play Chefmax role by changing login user. Now, we have Chefmax screen. Here, Chefmax create his task and request same as sales John. OK, this is Chefmax screen after his planning job. Here, he created his cooking task and issued a shopping request to Shopper Gen and set time relation and changed cooking request status to plan. Now, cooking request has three days duration by the effect of newly added cooking task, but the shopping request is still one day temporary schedule because of no valid child task. Here, we can see Chefmax clear brown time relation and faded sales Jones one. User is allowed to set time relation just for his created request and task. So, we can prevent our requests and tasks to get unexpected termination by other planners. OK, let's move on shop by Jane's operation by changing user role. OK, user is changed to shop by Jane. From now on, shop by Jane accepts shopping requests and create her shopping task. This time, I will show easy way to create a task. To do this, please select Quick Task Creation. Then, we have a Quick Task Creation pop-up. Here, we will input duration, task name, and set parent status to plan, because this is the only one task to realize parent request. OK, change title, and save. This is newly created shopping task. Because of this added task, parent shopping request duration is changed to three days. Also, you can see these upper request status are changed to child planned automatically. Child planned means all of its descendant requests are planned. And now, top request is child plan. This means planning job of this entire project is completed. I think distributed planning have many merit, but among them, function together and organize all members' knowledge and the feature of built-in motivator is the most important. By utilizing this effect, Chain Basca can provide project management functionality by almost the same operation manner when we ask something by email. I think this is very important feature of this kind of software, which is widely used by common people. Now, we got project plan, then we must carry on it. So please watch part 2 video which cover project follow-up functions. Today, I show just a limited aspect of Chain Basca. So if you are interested in this approach, please visit chainobasca.com and evaluate it by yourself. Thank you for your time.